And on behalf of myself and the other colleagues, I want to extend our deepest gratitude and thanks to Dr. Andre and team for pushing us another step in the things of God. As I talk on behalf of all of us, for eight years in Hands on Africa, there are a couple of things I learned. Paul charged in Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to verse 6. By the time there is a lot of heresies around, doing things that we are ungodly. But Paul charged Timothy as a young servant of God to stand strong, be courageous, and do the right thing in the presence of God. And so, so few lessons I learned. One, we have to be courageous. Three set of people I want to talk to quickly before I No, All that have graduated. Those that are still continuing. And some of you that are still on the fence whether to come in or not. For us that have graduated, Paul charged Timothy that he needs to continue the good work. He needs to stand for what is true. And for you that are still here, Four things to note. You have to be courageous. The first time I came on Hands on Africa, I asked myself, is this the right place? Will I get through what I have started? Questions you ask yourself. Will I be able to make it? How will I be able to do the assignment? How will I be able to comport myself? But I want to encourage you. Be courageous. God said to Joshua. Joshua was taking over a big task. God told him, Joshua, just be courageous. And remain courageous. Continue, students, I want to encourage you. Remain courageous. Be patient. Endure. And submit yourself to authority. Because you come with a lot of baggage, a lot of things. Three things happen. Why so on on Africa? We unlearn things that we have learned before. Things that we thought we are right. When we came to Hands on Africa, we unlearned them. Why still on Hands on Africa? We relearn. And that's why we are graduating today. So I want to encourage you. You may have heard a lot of things. You may have studied a lot of things. But certain things you have to unlearn them. Like our cell phones. There are some things you need to delete. There are some teachings you need to delete. There are some things that have become a doctrine to you that are not correct. You need to delete them. And you submit yourself to the teachings and to the lectures whereby you'll be able to relearn that will make you an effective instrument in the hand of God. Yeah. Doc, we are proud of you, sir. I quote you everywhere. I said to my church, I said, my my principal has a motto. His motto that I studied, until you do the work, the work is not done. Until you do it, it is not done at all. 
And having a little bit of military background, they taught us when you are trained hard, you will fight easy. And don't be reassured. We will never put you to shame. Okay. By the grace of God. The sacrifices you have made during this Corona interregnum, you will still press on to come. The other time they were quarantined because of us. Because you want to invest in human capital. And because of all those investments and sacrifices, we want to say thank you to Hands on Africa. Thank you to Jackson V Baptist Church and the Theological Seminary who have made us proud people in our community. We came nobodies. But we are going somebody in the hand of the Lord. We are very grateful. And I said to Doc one day, one of the greatest things that happened to you after your salvation was Mamarina. She has been there. She has been there. She has been there. And hey, Mamarina, we are grateful for the support you are giving to Doc. Giving him the great strength to do exploits. And all the barrage of things that have been coming. We want to say thank you to all the things that have come. God continue to bestow his grace on you. Extend our thanks and appreciation to everyone that has made this day possible for us. Thank you so very much. So I continue students. Be courageous. Be patient. Have endurance. And submit yourself. And all of us going outside, let's continue doing the right thing. So that tomorrow in heaven, there will be a better and a bigger graduation than this one. God bless you and God bless you all. Thank you so very much. Thank you.